Thank you for joining me in this series, Ask the Business Data Analyst, where we will explore different questions related to the work done by business data analysts. I am Priya Telang, a senior data analyst with a diversified professional experience of 10 years in various MNCs. I am passionate about using data to solve problems. I am a Tableau Desktop Specialist and IIBA Certified Business Data Analyst. So the question for today is, what is machine learning? Artificial intelligence and machine learning are two extremely popular terms often used interchangeably, but they are not the same. Artificial intelligence is a broader concept of making machines intelligent and machine learning is an exciting part of AI. It is so cool because you simply give data to the machine. The machine learns what you want it to do and becomes smarter over time. And not just learn, but apply this learning to new data as well. But how do these machines actually learn? Well, it is easy for humans to know the difference between an apple and a pear. But is it so straightforward for a machine? Unlike humans, a machine has to go through a set of rules to classify as an apple or pear. Sometimes apples and pears may not be easily differentiated. The color rule is not universal. Other parameters like the shape, hardness, etc. have to be defined. Complex if-else statements would be needed. But in machine learning, we want the machine to learn and apply this learning without being explicitly programmed. Now to learn, like living beings, machines will also have to learn by experience. And how will they get this experience? Well, we'll give them a well-defined table with some numbered samples and the features, using which they will learn whether to classify this as an apple or a pear. Using this foundation knowledge, machines learn and also make mistakes while learning, same as we do. But eventually, machines keep getting better and better by tweaking the algorithm based on whether the goal is achieved or not. So machine learning is at the intersection of data, features like size, shape, color, and the algorithm that is used. Real life examples are quite complex than separating apples from pears, right? Netflix recommending your next favorite movie. Adidas predicting seasonal demand. And Uber bridging the gap between demand and supply of the cabs. All of these are using machine learning. Working out such things manually in a short time with high accuracy is not possible for humans. Machines can work at a much faster rate on multiple optimizations and repetitive steps while you focus on teaching the machines. Also, machines are not prone to memory loss, information overload and distractions. Machine learning holds a promising future where humans and machines work together to design solutions for problems. I'm sure you must have enjoyed this introduction to machine learning. Let us know your questions in the comments and we will take them up in the next episode. Stay tuned for more interesting videos in this learning series. Thank you.